All right, I'm doing another periodal today. This is like Wordle, except all of the letters you guess have to be abbreviations for elements on the periodic table. So for example, we could do an I from nickel, and then we could do, you know, a C, and then we could do a K. We could probably do nickel. Uh, I don't know if you can quite do nickel, because I think, yeah, there's no L-E, but the point is, you make a word using the abbreviation, so it could be anywhere from five to ten letters, and there's um, some interesting stuff with the coloring, so basically, green means that element is in that position, yellow means that element is in the answer, but not in that position, just like normal Wordle. And it's for the element, not the letter, so if you had nickel, again, for example, and it was yellow, that would mean there is nickel in one of these other four spots. Um, and there's also orange, so again, if there was nickel, and then we had carbon, right? If nickel is orange, that means there is an NI in the answer, but not nickel. So it's probably something N and then an I, so you could have you know, M, N, and then you could have uh, wherever it is, iodine. <laughs> so you could have something like this, and N, I is in the answer, but not the element nickel. That's what the orange means. Um, there is eight guesses. I only have six on the screen over there. I just, I made things bigger so you can see it easier on the screen. If I get to where I need more than six guesses, I'll adjust things at that point, so. All right, with that, let's get to it. So I've only done this game once before, so um, I'm still kind of figuring out a strategy. I think, I think my strategy of from last time of doing single letters was a good idea because it will, you know, if you guess a B and there's no B, it eliminates all of the elements that have a B in them essentially. So. Uh, I'm gonna go with a two-word start that uses a whole bunch of the single letters. There's not that many elements with single letters. So I'm gonna do chops first. Okay, and look at that. Eliminating C, H, P, and S eliminated all of these other elements that have a C, H, P, or S in them. Now, the colors are a little tricky for me uh, on this game. Uh, some people have made some suggestions about how I could do some filters and things on the screen and change it, and uh, I just haven't looked into doing that yet. But I'm pretty sure that is a yellow O, which means O is in, not just O is in the answer, but the element oxygen is in the answer. So an O by itself is in here. It's not going to be like uh, OG or something. There could be an OG, but the O, it would be orange if it was supposed to be in a different element. So, um, I'm going to follow up with... Binky, I think, although I could do something with the O. I was gonna do 10 unique letters, was my thinking, chops and binky. But I could follow up with something with an O. We could do, we could do boink instead, which would check another spot for the O, that would be better. Let's do boink. Oh, it's not on the word, in the word list? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, let's go with binky then, I guess. I don't know why boink wouldn't be on the word list. That feels like a, a word for sure. Okay, so we've got three yellows now, and I know these are yellows because I can tell that they're all the same color, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're all the same color, and you obviously couldn't have two greens in the same spot, so those must be yellows. So we have an O, an I, and an N, but not in those positions. My, th my instinct is to do something like this. Could we do, is there like an AV? Could we do, no, no, not a void because there's an N. So G at the end would be good, you know, I-N-G, but there's no G by itself. It's gonna have to be a G with something. We could do something G-E. So if it's not a G, and we don't necessarily know the O-I-N are right there. That just seems reasonable. Can't be O-I-N in the last three spots because the O would be third. You know, with the single letters, we don't have much left. We've got F and V. Oh, and there's a U. Of course, uranium. I should have known, obviously, that there was a U. It's down at the bottom. I was just kind of looking through for the single letters and figuring out words I could do. Uh, hmm, so what, you know, with the things we have left, I'm not sure 
What's gonna fit at the end? We could do like TE maybe, something like that. Um, or maybe, you know, IN, something OININ. I, I don't know, there's not, there's not much that's actually gonna work at the end there, I don't feel like. OIN UM? Maybe it's not OIN like that. It could be something O something IN. It could do that too. Something like, uh, what's it gonna be? We'd need to have, uh, probably uh, a two letter in the middle there. So after the O, it's gonna be be a double consonant, it could be a vowel consonant, something like A-T, uh, we could have O-A-T-I-N, or O-A-G-I-N, oh, 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 what about G-A, something gain, hmm, or we could start with I-N, in something, in, in something, oh, something, something like that. Ooh, we could also do, uh, something, something, <laughs> something T, I, O, N. Uh, well, yeah, it's not, it's not doing it right, but, um, something T, we could do like, uh, you know, like A, T, I, O, N. What would that be? That looks really good. E-L? Is there an E-L? Elation? I don't think there's an E-L. And there's no T by itself, otherwise you could do like, motion, but we can't do... We've already got the I-O-N, so I wanted something that ends in a T. So if it was a T, it would have to be A-T, is there anything else, or M-T. A-T or M-T, if we want something that ends in a T, I think. So probably A-T, so something A-T-I-O-N, what would that be? Oh, I also missed the W. Yeah, the, some obvious ones. I was, what I should have done is thought about elements that have a single letter. I missed the W and the U, I was just kind of looking at the ones more at the top. I just looked through for the ones that had single letters instead of thinking about them, because I know tungsten is W. I know U is uranium, yeah. Oh well, that's alright. I don't think I would have done anything different if I had thought of those, but... Alright, well I'm not thinking of anything... ...that works with the A-T-I-O-N, unfortunately. Um... Oh, actually! No, I just thought of something because... Because I looked at sodium, which is N-A. And that made me think, oh, nation almost works, but you'd have two A's. But we could do another N. We could do nation. Now, that's repeating the N, but since we know there's an N, uh, we know there's a nitrogen, not just an N, we know there's a nitrogen specifically. We can check two spots for nitrogen, which will, you know, that's okay. So I wouldn't want to repeat it if we didn't already have it as yellow, is what I'm saying. And that checks new spots for everything. I think that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Is it nation? Oh, it's not nation. Okay, interesting though. We do, so we've got another yellow spot, right? And so the N is not first, third, or last. But we have a yellow N and an orange N, which means one of the other two elements, we've got three of the elements figured out. One of the other two elements has an N in it. Okay, so the N, the nitrogen is second or fourth. There is another N somewhere could be anywhere at this point, but it's a, a, an element with an N in it. It could be I-N, it could be R-N, it could be N-O, it could be, uh, yeah, it could be N-O, because we don't know that there, if there's an O or not. Um, it could be M-N, it could be N-I, there's a lot of options, N-A, N-E, N-D, there's a lot of things with Ns, so... Now, if we started with something that had an N second, like, I don't know, I-N, for example, 
Then we could do, uh, mm, how do I, okay. Let's see, if I do this, there we go. Then we could do another N and it could be I-N-N, -N, which isn't too bad, but then we'd have to put the O at the end and I don't really like putting the O at the end, so. Interesting that the I can't be second or third and the O can't be third or fourth. So now my instinct is something like this. <laughs> but the problem is the N has to be second or fourth. So we can't do the O and the I second and fourth. And the O and the I can't be in the middle. So the O or the I has to be at the first or the last. It has to be at the beginning of the end. So the word either starts or ends with an O or an I, which is really interesting. So I, I'm, I'm back to thinking I N now. Um, now it could be I N. It could also be I N I or you know I um, you know iodine and then nickel or something like that or or sodium I N A. It doesn't have to be the nitrogen right there. But if we're putting the N second, then the O would have to be at the end. If we start with I and put the N second, the O would have to be at the end. What would that be? In, in something O, in something O, in something O. <laughs> I'm trying to trigger my brain to hear a word. In, 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 uh, in, 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 uh, O. In the O. In the O. In the O. In the O. I don't know. There's something there, probably. In. Uh, we could do like. T there has to be something with an N, though, right? So we could do another N here. In the. In the low. In the mo. In. Or. Inferno! Inferno! Inferno works with uh, iron, F-E is iron, and I believe, oh, is R-N radon? I think it might be radon. I can't remember if that's R-D or R-N. There might, I don't see an R-D. Is there an R-D? Maybe there's not an R-D. So radon must be R-N, okay. It's been a while since chemistry in college, but I think Inferno works. Let's go with Inferno. Yes, we got it, all right. Whew, that was a tough one. I don't know. Uh, starting with a vowel and ending with a vowel, uh, I just, I didn't think that was going to be the way it works, so... Uh, Alright, well, um, yeah, very tough one, so... Pretty interesting, though. Uh, interesting words, so it was, it was interesting that we got the orange here with the N, because the N was in another... Um, and that's kind of the, think the thinking with using the single letters, is, you know, if you guessed something with, the, like, let's say we guessed sodium, N-A, we wouldn't have gotten, it would have been gray, right? We wouldn't have had any information about the fact that there was an N in there, but getting the orange N meant there was an element with an N. So it kind of works one way and not the other a lot of times, so. Anyways, if we had to guess something with like N-O down here, it would have given us an orange as well, but uh, yeah, so. Anyways, tough one, but still managed to get it in four. I feel like there were so many grays, there just weren't a lot of options there, I just had to come up with something that actually fits. So let me know how you did with today's periodal. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Debate that often comes up. Have you ever referred to something as a vegetable? Maybe a tomato or a pumpkin or a cucumber? Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good. So there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking actually.